morning everybody or good afternoon as the case may be. Um, I wanted to do a quick video to clarify a few things about preparing your photo books for printing because there's a little bit of confusion around um, about this in general. If you're preparing your own PDFs and not using the PDF creation software or the kind of um, InDesign um, plugin from somewhere like Blurb, for example. So we have to be a little bit careful. Um, so I want to just clarify a few things and talk about image resolution and making sure you're not getting your images um, pixelated or um, enlarging them too much that they'll print in a sort of a blurred fashion, let's say. And in general, just making sure that there's clarity around the idea of uh, the image color space. Um, RGB versus CMYK and making sure that what you end up with is appropriate for your printer. So let's begin. Um, I am going to just show you a little list here and then we'll go through it. So firstly, my biggest take home message, actually I'm just going to bring myself down maybe and leave me here so I'm at least in the picture a little bit. My take home message is that you should um, talk to your printer. There's two options here. You're going to be either using somewhere like Blurb or um, uh, Albumworks or somewhere like that where they ask you to specifically use some kind of software to kind of manage the creation of the PDF out of the back of InDesign, some sort of a plugin or something like that. Now, the reason they do that is really to manage the color conversion process and any other issues that can be inherent in preparing PDFs for print, like fonts not being embedded, etc. But color space is probably one of the main ones. So um, if you're using one of those companies, just make sure you follow the instructions. If you're not using one of those companies, if you're choosing to go, say, to somewhere like Quick Copy or uh, Officeworks, I hope you're not, um, sorry, Officeworks, or um, Impact Digital here in Brunswick in Melbourne or somewhere like that, the best advice I can give you is to speak to your printer. And this is a, like a professional kind of approach. You should always speak to your pr printer uh, before going ahead with any project for them and ask them what they need from you in terms of um, the file preparation. Now, they may be able to send you a PDF preset and you can just upload that into InDesign and follow that preset and you'll have no problems. Um, or they might just tell you over the phone, you know, um, make sure you use this, that and the other, you know, certain... Um, compression, um, make sure you export um, in the output section of the export options panel, make sure you convert RGB to CMYK at that point. Whatever it is, make sure you follow their instructions. Um, there is no need though to convert your photographs from RGB to CMYK before placing them into InDesign. Um, now it's basically um, yeah, you used to have to always do this. So some printers may still kind of um, ask you to do this. And if they ask you to do it, then go ahead and do it. Again, follow their instructions. But most good printers these days will be able to work with the conversion that InDesign provides when it exports your PDF. It'll You can get it to convert all your images from RGB to CMYK. And that algorithm or that process is as far as I can tell from my research, as good these days as anything you'll do in Photoshop. It apparently uses the same color engine as Photoshop does. So if I go into Photoshop and convert everything from RGB to CMYK, then place it in InDesign, it's the same as me placing RGBs into InDesign and then exporting them and converting them from RGB to CMYK in the export process. So save yourself some time and let PDF do it, but you've just got to make sure you set it correctly. So we'll go through that. The other most important thing I want to talk about is to check your effective resolution in InDesign while you're working on your, or your layout to make sure you're not trying to enlarge your images too much. So we'll look at that. And then finally, and this advice has come really um, thankfully, I suppose, oh, indeed, thankfully, from Karen, one of our students. And I'm sure a few of you others out there know about this working in the print industry and publication industry as finished artists. Um, but the pre-flight pre -flight checking process that's embedded into Acrobat is a really handy one. So after you've exported your PDF, to open that PDF in Acrobat and do a pre-flight check. 
And then if there are any issues, you can actually get Acrobat to fix them. So that's the best advice I've got for you to follow these four steps.